and also some yoga friendly scolio. Yoga friendly scolio? No, 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 no. <laughs> and I upload yoga videos here on my channel. <laughs> again. <laughs> It's me again, Georgina. Even if you don't have scoliosis, I just always want to say this, this is also perfect for you. This is great for beginners and this is a great beginner back strengthening. If you're new here, I'm Georgina, hello, and I upload yoga videos here every Sunday and also I have a scolio love playlist here on my channel wherein I share all these yoga poses or a yoga flow that has helped me improve my spine. I have scoliosis and I'm gonna be linking that down below. It's called scolio love. And the previous video that I have uploaded about scoliosis is all about stretching, twisting, and just feeling good. So you could actually pair this video and that previous video that I've uploaded after this session. So this is all about strengthening, which I encourage you to do maybe every single day or every other day. Just do it as much as you can because strengthening your back is gonna help you to improve your spine. The key to my practice has always been uh, strengthening my back and also stretching. So you wanna do both and feel good until you're able to feel that your back is already stable enough. If you're up for doing a deep back bend, you can also get there. Of course, that's gonna be different for everyone, different because of our curvature. We're all gonna be different. Everything is gonna be different. So I always encourage you to listen to your body. All right. Without further ado, I talk too much. <laughs> All you will need is a yoga mat here and yourself. And let's begin. All right, friends, we're gonna start in a child's pose. So in child's pose, you're gonna sit on your heels, knees down, point the toes back, and I want you to extend your arms all the way in front of you. So your knees are a little bit hip distance apart or a little bit wider rather. So I want you to take a moment to really feel your body here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Breath out through the nose. You can drop the forehead down on your mat and just really feel your body as you find your center, ground yourself, relax your body. Relax your jaw. Relax your face. Relax the eyebrows. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe as slow as you can. Good boy. Open your eyes, look straight ahead, and now we're gonna start to wave our spine. So you're gonna round your back, looking back, tucking your chin to your clavicle, and as you shift forward, when your shoulders get past the wrist, you're gonna start to now arch the back. So drop the belly down, tailbone will point up, and maybe you're looking forward and slowly looking up as you wave back. So you're really gonna find your spine's fluidity here or your flexibility. So rolling forward, rolling back. And you're not rushing this movement. You really wanna feel each vertebra move. Now you're gonna start to pair it with your breath. I like my inhalation as I roll my spine forward. And then as I get my shoulders past the wrist, I like to exhale as I arch my back. So again, roll forward. Good. And roll it back. But as always, if you like, to experiment with your breath work, you can always do that. So you're just rolling, keep on going. We're warming up our body this way. And as you breathe in, I really want you to focus on bringing your uh, 
breath or like breathing into the side bodies as well. Like you feel that your ribs like expanding and exhaling. Focus on the spine. And I'll meet you in a child's pose. Good. Now you're gonna wiggle yourself here. And then you're gonna curl your toes under. Push yourself back. Good. Get a little bit of pulsing motion here, up and down. Just to really press the toes down. Good. All right, now steady. Push all the way back. And then you're gonna shoot up to your tabletop. When I say shoot up, it's just gonna be a quick one and straight. Shoot up. And then you're gonna start to arch here as you shift back. Good. So in your tabletop, you're not really stacked here. It depends. So wherever you are, it doesn't really matter. You're just focusing on shooting up in a straight spine and then starting to arch the back as you push yourself back. Sitting on your heels with your curled toes under. Inhale to shoot. And exhale to arch and wave back. So I, I want you to experiment with your breath. I want you to inhale as quickly as possible, like about one to two seconds. And then arch the back, slowly exhalation. You can exhale through your mouth if that feels better for you, but you wanna inhale through the nose. Again, inhale to shoot. Exhale to really feel that arch lowering and arching as you sit on your heels. Good. Last one to shoot. Good. Exhale. Drop the belly down, tailbone up, arch the back, and really feel your body here. Good. Now you're still going to be having your curl toes under. We're going to change it up. Rolling your spine forward. Really roll, 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 roll. And as you feel that your shoulders are now stacked on the wrist, you're going to now get that neutral spine shifting forward. Good. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Again, round the back, back to tabletop. Hold five, four, but breathing in and breathing out, two, and one, and sh sh shift forward. And then just straighten or neutral spine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Round the back, tabletop. Hold. Good. Relax the spine. Shift your weight forward, focusing on the wrist. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now from here, you're gonna sit on your heels, lift the knees, and then hips up. Downward facing dog. Good. You're gonna roll your spine forward and with that hollowed body, this is the plank that I want you to get used to, okay? Adjust yourself where it feels comfortable for you to really protract your shoulder blades hollowing the body and now we're gonna pair it with squeezing of the glutes down, right? So now you're feeling the arch mostly on the upper back. Round it back. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Now relax a little bit. You're gonna bring the knees down, hover from the mat. Adjust yourself where it's comfortable for you. So it's a hovered tabletop, okay? We're going to be holding this position, but we're gonna add in some hollowed body. You're gonna hold this for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, push, push, five, four, three, Two, and one, drop the knees down and then arch the back, look up, breathe in. Breathe out to roll forward with a rounded back and then arching the back. So now you're doing cat and cow, but with this forward and back motion, right? You're doing spinal waves in your tabletop position. And now feeling your breath here, making it fluid. Pairing that movement or the shifting and waving to your breath. There's no right or wrong here. I want you to really feel your body, maybe closing your eyes. 
lots of spinal waves here. Good. All right. Now, untuck the toes, point it back, and you're gonna extend your hands all the way forward. Lift the hands up, elbows are gonna press down, and then interlace your fingers here. We're gonna draw circles with our wrists. One direction, just to kind of help you with that, because it might be a little bit pressure on the wrist, and then we're gonna reverse the rotation. Good. From here, extend your hands forward and then you're gonna drop your forearms down, slide it a little bit closer to you where it is comfortable for you. And then when you grab the upper arms with each hand, making sure that your elbows are in line with your shoulders, right? So it's not so wide. And then you can spread your hands forward and then get a little bit closer with the elbows towards your midline. Good. You're gonna curl your toes under here, lift the knees, and then adjust yourself where you feel that your hips are stacked on top of uh, or below the knees. You're gonna hover the knees and you're gonna protract your shoulder blades more here. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, focus down, five, four, protract, protract, three, two, and one, drop the knees down, get onto your tabletop, up onto your hands. Good, and now this time we're gonna focus on the lumbar portion wherein you're gonna be scooping that belly, okay? So this will target the lower part of your spine. So imagine that the navel is gonna be sucked in towards the spine, right? So suck in your belly, beautiful, and then staying in this position for 10, nine, engage your core. Tailbone will now be tucked. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now relax your body, get that like neutral spine, maybe wiggle, wiggle yourself, and then we're gonna drop again onto our forearms, focusing on the upper body. You can interlace your fingers here if this feels stronger for you. And when you're ready, hollow the body, and then you're gonna curl the toes under, lift the knees to really hollow the body for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knees down, get onto your tabletop, hands on the mat, and then suck in your belly, navel towards your spine. Good, breathe in, and then exhale, really round tailbone, tuck under. Beautiful, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, now relax, drop again onto your forearms. It's gonna be a lot of this, you guys. Prayer position or interlace if you like. Curl the toes under if you have, you're not there yet. Hover the knees and hollow the upper body. Good, hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold, 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 hold. Really push yourself, nothing is relaxed. And release, one. Beautiful job. Hands up or on the mat, and then we're gonna extend the right leg out. Good, stack yourself here. And then from here, you're going to be lifting that heel up. And as you look back, I want your heel just parallel to your hips so it's not too high, so you're not opening the hips, right? I want you to stack that. Right? And this is your squared hips. Beautiful. From here, you're going to be flexing the foot. So heel is driving up, pushing back, right? So you feel that strength from that leg. It's not sloppy. And then you're going to just hold this position for five, four, three, two, and one. Now, your weight is on the right hand, extend your left hand forward. You could have the palm down and then really get your ear next to that arm. Ready, 10, nine, hollow, eight, seven, six, five, hold, four, really strong back, two, and one. Now you're gonna drop the knee and then we're gonna do that on the other side. Extend the left leg out, okay? And then lift it up, knee, Parallel to the hip, flex the foot, 
Look back to make sure you're aligned. And then we're gonna hold this position, hollow the body for five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Now left hand will be on the mat, right hand forward, extend. You could have the palm down, ear next to the arm, hollow the body, hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, stretch. Five, really elongate, four, three, two, and one. Drop the hand down, drop the knee, extend the right foot out, and you're gonna send it up. This time, you're gonna send it as high as you can. Working now on the hips, you can have the opening here if that feels good, and then point the toes. You can have an arch in the back here. And you're gonna bend the knee, send it to your chest. Now, I want you to hollow your body. This is what we are trying to do here, rounding the back four, five. Four, three, two, one. Extend it out and knee to chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend it out and knee to chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend it out. You're not going to rest. You're going to bend the knee. You're going to try to tap it onto the side of your body, right shoulder. It doesn't have to tap. Point the toes just to where you can reach it. If it's only here, that is fine. From there, you're gonna send it again out, look down, and then tap, look to the knee. Good, four, five. Look to the knee, four, three, two. The obliques is working here. And last one, look to the knee, and then send it out. Straighten to the right side, flex the foot. You're gonna hold four, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knee down, push back to your child's pose to rest, and you're gonna have your hands behind you so that you can reel palms facing up so you can rest the wrists. Drop the forehead down if you like, and we're gonna breathe in here for our resting position. I'm gonna face the other side. <laughs> so now you can see the other side as we shift to the left leg. Or whatever leg you did, all right? When you're ready, we're gonna do everything what we did on the left side. Extend your arms again forward, um, and then roll your spine forward, getting that tabletop position, feel that alignment. Doesn't really have to be perfectly aligned, just to where you can feel it good for your body. Hands or shoulders distance apart, left leg sticks out. Good. Lift it up and then as point the toes rather and then try to see how high you could lift it with the squared hips and then send it in knee to chest. Hollow the body, four, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend, breathe in, knee to chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're just gonna do one more time. Inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. You're not gonna rest, you're gonna extend it out and you're gonna tap to the side of your left shoulder. Knee to chest or knee to shoulder and back. Again, five, exhale, Three, inhale as you extend, exhale, two, and one. Get it to your side, straighten the left leg, flex the feet, hold for a little bit, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, knee down, and sit on your heels to your Vajrasana. We're gonna do side stretches. How are you doing? Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, drop the left hand down, and we're going to bend to the left side. Good. Beautiful. Right hand down, left hand sweeps all the way up, breathing in. Breathing out, bend to the right side. Rib cage, tuck it in. Good. So you just feel the stretch into the side body. Especially when, when we're scoliosis, one 
rib cage is puffing out than the other, depending on your curvature, right? So you want to kind of really square everything. Tuck your rib cage in is really, really important. Good, when you're stretching. All right, interlace your fingers behind, breathing in, stretching your elbows and your shoulders are back. Exhale, drop the forehead down, lift the arms up. You can have the index finger out to point up. Maybe that helps to really feel where you're at with your shoulder mobility. Really, I'm not relaxed here, so see my shoulders. You really, really drive it pointing up now, the index finger. And to release, you're just gonna relax and let go of the bind. All right, good job. Okay, we're not done. We're almost there. Hands to a tabletop position. And then we're gonna start maybe where you can see me. Let's see, here. So I want your right forearm drop down. So your elbow is in line with your left wrist. And then your hand is basically more forward here. Okay, good job. Extend the left leg out. Good. From here, we're going to be doing what we did earlier, but we're going to be doing this so we can really focus on the opening. So bend, lift the leg, bend the knee, and then take it out, like onto the left shoulder. If it touches or not, it's fine. Okay, from here, you're gonna extend the left leg out to the left side, drop it down, and then you're gonna do the lift, bend, extend out. Again. Bend the knee to tap the shoulder, extend, and drop. So when you're on the side, you're flexing the foot, okay? So lift to flex a foot, bend the knee, point the toes, tap the shoulder, and then extend out. So your hip is a little bit on opening here, so it's not squared, right? With this position, again, extend, tap, knee to shoulder, extend to the left, flex the foot, drop it down. Good, lift, tap and bend, extend. Good, keep on going. Inhale, lift up, exhale to bend, inhale to stretch. Exhale to bend, inhale to stretch. Good, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale knee to shoulder, and inhale, repeat. Ooh, your weight is obviously on the right side more, right? Drop, good job. From this position, I'll meet you here. You're going to just come up onto that knee. Beautiful, knee, knee, and feet in line. You could extend or like rotate the feet to outside to really help open up the inner thigh. So your right hand will slide down from your waist down to the right side of your knee. Left hand now will sweep up, inhale. And then exhale, bending the sides here. Good, you feel the stretch from the points of the fingers all the way down. You could even flex if this feels better for the stretch or like toes pointing forward rather. You could have a support with the hand down to get really deep with it. So if you're too deep and this is more on the right curvature, you kind of want to just keep yourself upright, right? If your curve is more towards the right. So you want to counteract it more to the opposite side. So you want to take a picture or maybe film your back. So you want to see how your back looks when you're moving because you want to do more on the side that you want to correct, right? Okay. Whoo, I'm going to face the other side. We're gonna do that on the right leg now. Okay, hands tabletop position, and then you're gonna drop the left forearm this time. Again, the forearm, elbow in line with the hand or wrist, depending on you, and then extend the left hand or forearm down. So your weight is mostly on the left side. Extend the right leg out, good. Lift it up, inhale, bend the knee, tap the shoulder, exhale, inhale, extend, flex the foot, Exhale, drop it down. Repeat, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
Inhale, exhale. 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 Keep on going. Now, when you feel the burn, then you can maybe stop, okay? Or if you want to add more to it, add more. Pause the video. Coming all the way up, you're going to slide your right foot to where it's comfortable for you. It's called like a gate pose in yoga. You could have the, again, left hand. I want you to kind of draw the first because this is going to depend again on the curvature. If you're more towards this side, then you want to just do this and not go all the way down. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, inhale, right hand up. And then exhale, bend. Now you're good. You are gonna feel it. There's gonna be one that's one side. Oh, this is hard to do. The other side is easier, right? Feel your body. Now, if you are correcting this side of the spine, because your curvature is more towards the other side, right? You want to bend here more. You can drop the left hand down and really elongate the side body stretch here, right? Feeling like you're counteracting the curve. Sometimes when I started, where it's harder is definitely where I need it more to get corrected, right? So just in case you cannot see your body yet because you're practicing and you're filming your back or something like that, right? You want to really feel your body. Rib cage tucking in. Beautiful. And then drop. Woohoo! And then maybe I'm gonna face you. So we started with this, right? From this position, right, we bend to the other side. We're gonna try to just bend here. So I want you now to slide your hand to the right side and left hand sweeps up and then exhale here. So see where is harder for you, the opposite side or this side? And then after this video, if you wanna even out to correct your own spine curvature, right, or abnormal spine, then you can go ahead and do that. What I did, how I really improved my spine is every time that I want to correct wherever the direction of my spine was, is like where I do the double to help correct it. Most people start with the harder side first because you tend to stay there for longer, right? So this is gonna really depend on your personal preference now. Okay, back to your center, right knee down and extend the left leg out. Good, left hand will now drop and slide and then we're gonna do that on the other side. And I just want you to get a feel of your own body here. Breathe. Good, back to center. And then we are gonna do some core work at the end. So I find boat pose really a great core strengthening for the, that helps with our back because it's an easy core work for scoliosis. At least for me, I don't really like the twisting with the core work or like crunching core because it really hurts my spine. Anyhow, okay, boat pose or navasana. We're gonna start with bent knee. So we're gonna be rocking back and forth so you want to make sure that you have enough cushion to protect your spine, right? Or maybe put a blanket if you need extra cushion. We're gonna be rocking ourselves back and forth this way, right? And to be able to get this uh, rocking motion, and you probably, you're gonna notice this. I want you to really get a feel of it. You might be wobbling and you, when you do this rocking motion, you might be rotating in a different angle and because of your curvature, right? because I started like that. <laughs> so when you uh, have your knees to your chest, this is an easy way for you to really get yourself rolling forward and up. So when you focus on knee to chest, right? Whoop. So all, like it is easier to rock yourself forward and up, okay? Now, if you want to get this a little bit more challenging, you can do more challenging with me, depending on where you're at, or if you don't have scoliosis, we're basically going to be like rocking here, right? And then stretching 
when you reach the, the ground. So stretching the legs and then rock. So you're now getting your compression in with straight legs. So we're just doing this repeatedly. <laughs> Good. Okay. Make sure you're breathing and we're gonna do about two more. And really as you come up, core is strong. Okay, we're gonna end in a bridge pose. I like to end in a bridge a lot with scolio because it's really, really great for the spine. Okay, so now we're gonna have our head down and then I, I said this in my previous scolio video, you want to measure the distance of your feet, ideally somewhere between the tips of your fingers, but again, as always, this is gonna depend on each and everybody's bone structure or each and every one of us. Okay, from there, but somewhere there, knee, is a little bit wider than the hips and the feet, then you're going to lift your bum. So lift your hips up. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know this, but then I like to always say to tuck in your rib cage so you're not this, right? You want to send this down, we're correcting, we're engaging the core, we're not back bending here. Squeezing the butt cheeks together, inner thighs are joined towards each other, if you touch your inner thighs, it should not be jello, should be hard. Meaning that's engaging your muscles properly. Now from this position, hold. We're gonna hold first. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze everything. Core is very, very strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop the hips and then now you're gonna step both feet a little bit forward just a little bit. Just try it first if you can like still lift your hips up, right? Okay, as you lift the hips, you're going to lift the toes up so your heels are grounded, okay? Hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, that is really good for your legs too. And then we're gonna do some happy baby pose. Hug your knees, legs up, and we're gonna rock ourselves. Ha uh, grab your feet, your big toe or your ankle, your heels with the hands, and just rock yourself back and forth, or left and right, rather. Pressing your back on the ground or the mat. Really feel ooh, your lumber there. I actually really like to do bind if you're a lot more flexible. Now, you could have your elbows inside and then wrap the arms outside and then grabbing the sole or the arch of your feet. So now your toes are pointing left and right and then rocking it left and right. This is just a deeper way <laughs> to do happy baby pose. <laughs> this helps to open up the hips to the groin area. Whew, and now we're gonna do twist. Right knee is bending. Extend or cross it to the other side. Ooh. So the goal here is not really the knee down onto the left, right? The goal is to just stack your hip joints and really adjust yourself where you can get that stacked. Ooh. And then right hand can sweep to the right side. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Strain that red leg and then grab it with the opposite hand for a deeper stretch. Good. Option to bend the other leg, bend the knee, grab it with the right hand, the foot. Ooh. Good. And if you wanna do this with me, just starting to rock or like slide to the right and to the left that hip just to help Whew. and then all the way to your face if you can get there if not if, of course if you're here that is also fine and then rotating the ankles Oof, so good all right doing that on the other side just really like to feel my hips so your hip joint super important to really get your hip mobility for your back all right, knee, left knee to your chest, cross it to the opposite side. Ooh, ooh. Stack your hip joints, adjust yourself, and then left hand to the left side. Breathe in, breathe out. Option to just stay there or extend or straighten the left leg to grab 
with the other hand. Mm. Another option to stay there or bend the other leg, grab it with the other hand. Good. Now we're going to start to rotate, depending on you now, whatever you want to do here. But I want my left leg all the way to my face and here, right? And then let's see if you could draw a big circle. Good. You can help with the hand if you need to. And if, if you're not very high and you're just doing this, that's okay too. Wherever you are, right? And now let's reverse that. Going all the way down to the left side and I'm gonna stay here. Whew. Stretch both of your legs. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Rotate the ankles. Ooh, and you could end in Shavasana if you like, but I'm gonna face you just to end this video. How are you doing? I hope that feels good for you. And if you want to really help straighten your spine, I do encourage you to try that like every, at least once a week or every other day is really something that I would highly recommend. If that is too hard for you, let me know what else you want from me from scoliosis or scolio love playlist because I feel that what you really don't like to do is what you probably need to do a lot, <laughs> right? Okay, if you enjoyed this class, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel again if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye! <laughs> Did you find a treasure, buddy? Did you like digging? Do you wanna go up there? Huh? You wanna go up here? I can take you there. You want there? You want it there? I'll, sh I'll take you there. Come on. There. Ooh, you like it there? <laughs> oh, you like it there. Okay, good boy. You want it there, huh? I love you.